So the first question I have for you is kind of a two part question. What was it like getting to work with the new cast on that 90s show and getting to reconnect with some of the original cast of that 70s show? It was amazing. First of all, you know, Kurt Wood and Deborah Joe are, are so amazingly talented, but they're wonderful people. And, and I missed them terribly, you know, over the years. And it was just, it, was, it felt like coming home. And, and even the sets and everything that they created, and they had to recreate the sets because, you know, the sets weren't around anymore. And it was yeah. just fantastic. And, and the new cast, they're all really, really talented. And they're great kids. And they all huddled together. When they weren't shooting the scene together, they were all clumped together and talking and bonding together. And they all have unique talents. And their relationship was just great. And that's what made that 70s show so great was relationships. And that's why this is going to be successful because these kids are, kids are talented and, and uh, you, you, you believe it, you know, and that's what people want to see. Everybody, you know, has coming of age stories. First love, you know, first time you, you try alcohol or drugs or, you know, you have the, the heartache and the heartbreak of of being with somebody you know and trying to grow up and having parents and grandparents who are a little bit on the stern side very, very protective sorry i got all choked up <laughs> <laughs> so my my next question that i have for you uh it like goes along with the original i'm sure that you're most recognized for your role as bob so i but you but you have a long long list of tv and film work along with that 70s show so do you have a preference between film and tv work and what are some of your other favorite characters that you've played wow um i i love i love both and I love doing drama as well as, you know, comedy. Uh, I did a series a few years back called Hit the Floor, which uh, my character was a very dark kind of businessman. And uh, uh, I said, so many great roles over the year. And, uh, you know, I was in Green Book. <laughs> my, my partner got a call from the director when they did the final cut. Uh, my big scene ended up going away. So that's the heartbreak of show business. But yeah, you know, a lot of great characters that I've played throughout the years. And, uh, uh, it, you know, it's all wonderful because it's all being creative and finding that character, whether it be a, a character from, you know, Wisconsin and finding that accent <laughs> and that attitude or, you know, being a New York guy you know, or a, a businessman or, you know, it's all wonderful. It's all, it's all make believe. Is there, is there a kind of part that you haven't played that is something that you would really like to do in the future? I think just more really interesting kinds of uh, dramatic roles and, and different in terms of comedy roles to some, you know, just a different type of, of character because I do a lot of different accents and, uh, you know, I, I just love finding, you know, that creative spark and trying to figure it out and then letting it all go. Very nice. So I would say Bob and Red are iconic TV dads. So my next question is, what are some of your favorite TV dads? Oh, well, let's see. Well, you know, you've got, you know, you've got uh, Tom Bosley, the, the dad, uh, the Cunningham dad in, in Happy Days. And, 
way, way back. You had shows like Father Knows Best. That's when we thought Father Knows Best, but nobody's really fooled by that. <laughs> mommy, mommy Knows Best. <laughs> yeah, mommy it's knows true. Let Daddy <laughs> think he knows best, but he doesn't know anything. <laughs> uh, he, he gets to think he knows best, but he really... <laughs> that's right. We are outmatched. I have got two daughters, way smarter than I am, and uh, I let them know every day. <laughs> so do you have like some other like favorite TV dads? Well, if I see Tony Soprano, see, that that's a show that I would have loved to be on, something <laughs> like that, something to uh, sink my teeth into. Um, you know, for some reason, I'm flashing back to the courtship of Eddie's father. That's how old I am. And uh, yeah, yeah, he was he was a great TV dad. So uh, that's pretty good. And of course, on Family Guy. Now that's a role model for a TV dad. <laughs> Peter. I, I, yeah, Peter. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> oh, Peter. Yeah. Um, some some of the ones that I think of along uh, like of course Bob and Red. I also think of like Family Matters and Full House. Mm -hmm. Those are some good ones. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the dad on Growing Pains. Uh, you know, uh, been a lot of TV dads. Yeah. So the the last question that I I really have for you is just kind of like a just a, a fun uh, question since we are officially done with 2022 and now into 2023, what are some of your favorite movies and TV shows from, from last year or things that you've, you've really enjoyed from the last couple of years? Mm, you know, gosh, there, there've been so many things that I really enjoyed, but I, I also enjoyed revisiting, uh, you know, some shows from the past. Uh, I I watched West Wing from the first episode all the way through, and that was one of my one of my favorites. And so I kind of revisited that. The morning show was was terrific. I really enjoyed that show. And um, there's lots of uh, Succession. There's a lot of wonderful shows. And uh, and trying to think of the the show with um, uh, Alan Arkin and Michael Douglas, the the comedy. Uh, oh, um, I I know exactly which one you're talking about. That I love. It was hysterical. It just made me laugh, and it 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 was wonderful. And I got a chance to work with. Paul Reiser, and he was hysterical in it with the ponytail and, uh, you know, so. Oh, uh, wasn't it the, the Kaminsky method? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I, I love that. That was that was one of my favorites. That's good. Any any favorite movies from last year? Gosh, I felt like last year I was kind of lost in this COVID. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I didn't have a lot of of movies. I like to to uh, to watch movies. I watch movies on Netflix, but uh, you know, uh, nothing that that really you know stands out. I think. Okay, well, I think that's that's just about all that I have. It was a pleasure getting to talk with you. I really enjoyed. Uh, seeing Bob again, I wish I wish we saw more of Bob. I hope that Me we too. see. <laughs> I, I hope that we see more of Bob again because it it was it was just a lot of fun. I I enjoyed I enjoyed the show a lot, and I hope that audiences like it as well. Yeah, I I hope so. It was great talking to you, Elliot. Thanks. <laughs>